Hey everyone, my name is Kaching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. So basically his robot is a flywheel powered flipper. Okay. So it spins a big in inertial mass yeah. inside of it, a big flywheel. Yeah. And it has a clutch that engages that flywheel. Okay, yep. And then that twists a, a what's called a twisted spring actuator. Mm. So it wraps this cord, which pulls this ram cord. That pulls on rack gears, and that makes it flip. <laughs> and he's made that reliable. Wow. So here's his That's rad. twisted string actuator maker. Oh my Here god. Are, like used twisted string actuator. Yeah. That's rad. Uh, great to meet you. I'm Kaching. What got you guys into robotics uh, to begin with? Our team is really broad. Aaron and I met on a high school robotics team where we were both mentors. And he was sat there one night going, oh, I've always wanted to be on BattleBots. And I've got this design and it's going to be awesome. Turns out it wasn't awesome. Uh, it was rather strange and pathetic. But I said, just turn around to him. I said, well, why aren't you? And he, he gave me reasons that were actually excuses. And I just kept on and I said, look, if you want to do it, let's work out how to do it. And we found great people who encouraged, gave advice that we listened to. So I think that's one of the things that we learned, particularly through uh, high school, school robotics, is you listen to advice. People have done it before, learn. Sometimes question and go, is there innovation available? Um, the twisted cord actuator in this robot is, we're pretty sure outside some military applications, nobody's thought of using this this way before. Yeah, that's such a that that's really a, such a unique way uh, to design a weapon for for this robot. That's yeah, it all it all came by a chance. I said to Aaron, go and meet some people, some different robot people. Yeah, and so he went to an evening, and they had a table of things laid out, and one of them was a twisted cord actuator that had been used in exoskeleton to be like an artificial muscle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that happens. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. Around, it gets shorter. It gets shorter by about mm. that much. Mm. That's enough to move a rack gear that operates the flipper. But the really nice piece about that, do you remember that toy when you played with it? Yes. It wasn't linear. It had an action. Oh, that's right. It's yeah. Accelerates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Well, that curve happens to be exactly what you need to accelerate another robot. Wow. So, yeah. And that's when this thing got born. We started out very small, and then we built a prototype. Wasn't smooth sailing. Um, we learned a lot about Dyneema rope and how it melts. It melts just a little bit of friction, and it goes horrible and goes solid and sticks. That's why you gotta grease it up. We grease it up. We have to be very careful with it. Um, we've got we, that's a 75 pound weight or 74, and we're just using that to stretch it out to allow it to settle so that there's, there's, none of them are going to move over each other in ways they shouldn't. And uh, yeah, and it can just keep going. There's no compressed air in here. There are batteries here and here, and they will just keep that thing spinning. For, for those who want to get into robotics, uh, and you know, they see all the, the fancy robots out there, what are some things that you would give them as advice to like how to get into robotics? Get involved in the organized events. Uh, you know, FRC, VEX, uh, the local um, combat, you know, uh, and learn from others. And just practice. Do practical things. Don't make it all theoretical. Um, you know, you guys have some great tools and technologies that mean people can sit and design and take through and drop onto some of the machines we've got here or the people having the colleges 
and make great things. You know, there's nothing, you know, even though there's some really complex processes that have gone on for some of the parts in this robot, there's nothing here that an average college student couldn't build. You know, um, they might, you know, they might, it might take longer, um, or if they get sponsorship, uh, they'll find a great sponsor who'll go, yeah, we've got yeah, an EDM machine. We'll make you that weird set of gears that you're convinced is going to do something special. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for talking to me. Really looking forward to seeing you guys fight, and uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Awesome. Okay, cool. I'll let you prep. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sean. Well, the one thing that really stands out right